Disney's Bambi, The Wonderful Winter Tree. Bambi awoke one morning to find that the whole world was covered in a soft white blanket. He gazed around in wonder. This is snow, his mother told him. It means winter is upon us. Snow? asked Bambi curiously. He took a cautious step and then another and another. He felt the ice, icy crystals crunch underneath his hooves. He looked back at the tiny tracks he had made. I like snow, Bambi said. Snow is pretty to look at, his mother said, but it makes winter hard for all the animals. Bambi wondered why winter was harder than all the other seasons. He was about to ask his mother when his friend Thumper came hopping over. Hiya, Bambi, said the bunny. Come on, let's go sliding. Thumper led Bambi to the pond, which was frozen solid. Thumper slapped the ice with his foot. It's all right, he told Bambi. See, the water is stiff. Just then, Bambi saw his friend Flower, the skunk. Do you want to come sliding? asked Bambi. Thumper says the water's stiff. Flower shook his head. No thanks, I'm going to my den to sleep through the winter, he yawned. Goodbye, Bambi. Bye, Flower, called Bambi to his friend. Bambi soon found another friend, Squirrel, scurrying up an oak tree. The pond is stiff, Squirrel, Bambi called. Do you want to come sliding with, that, with me? Thanks, replied the squirrel as he ducked into a hollow in the tree. But I have to store nuts for the long winter. He showed Bambi the pile he had already collected. No sliding for me today. Sorry, Bambi. Bambi went back to the pond to find Thumper sliding across the ice with his sisters. Bambi stepped cautiously on the ice and lost his balance straight away. Kind of wobbly, aren't ya? said Thumper as Bambi's hooves went sliding in all different directions. It seems that sliding across the stiff water wasn't quite as much fun for deer as it was for bunnies. Bambi said goodbye to his friends and went to find his mother. By the time Bambi found his mother, he was very hungry. As they began to look for food, Bambi could see that finding food in winter was not easy. There were no leaves on the trees and the grass was covered with snow and ice. Bambi's mother uncovered a small patch of grass to nibble on. But the snow was so cold that when Bambi began to eat, he thought his nose might freeze. After he had eaten, Bambi curled up with his mother for a nap. The ground was hard and cold and the wind was chilly. Bambi was grateful to have his mother there to keep him warm. Is this why the birds fly south and why our other friends sleep through the winter? Bambi asked. His mother nodded and snuggled even closer. Yes, but don't worry, Bambi, she told him. Winter doesn't last forever. By the end of December, there seemed to be nothing left in the forest for Bambi to eat except bitter bark. The days grew short and the nights grew long, and throughout them, Bambi's stomach rumbled. Then one day, something truly amazing happened. Thumper was the first to see it. Hey, Bambi, he shouted. Would you look at that tree? Bambi followed Thumper's paw. He could not believe his eyes. Standing before them was a tall pine tree unlike any Bambi had ever seen. It was draped with strings of bright berries and yummy popcorn and from the end of each branch hung a ripe, juicy apple. Mother, called Bambi, look what Thumper found. Slowly and cautiously, his mother drew closer. It can't be, she whispered. It seems almost too good to be true. What is it, Mother? Bambi asked her. The most wonderful tree in the world, she answered. She smiled down at Bambi. What a special gift to have on your first Christmas. Who left it, Mother? Bambi asked. I don't know, she replied. Maybe someone who loves animals, Thumper said, hopping up and down. Bambi sniffed one of the apples hanging low to the ground. Can we share this food with our friends too, Bambi asked his mother. Of course, she replied. Christmas is a time to share what we have with those we love. Bambi and Thumper danced happily around the tree. Then, Bambi took a big bite out of one of the juicy apples. Mmm, he said. This is the best gift ever. As he gazed up at the wonderful winter tree, Bambi felt happy and warm inside. There was enough food on the tree to feed all the hungry animals. Perhaps winter could be wonderful after all. <laughs>